they so in that position where they've probably played a lot before, going to Battlefield, and we all sing the Diddy Kong. All right. Yeah. And wow. it's same situation as last game, but only Diddy is a better character than Toon Link was <laughs> the last time. Did you still have to worry about holding out a projectile and getting hit on shield. But one thing that is going to be much, much bigger is that Diddy can kind of control the pace of neutral way stronger against so Bayonetta whoa. here. But Bayonetta can edge guard Diddy so, so well. With those lingering hitboxes, you yeah. kind of just beat yeah, up Yeah, for real, like the... the just, just like keeping on going with uh, the Nair and and the up air as well. That could probably easily catch Diddy Kong as they're trying to recover. I'm not, not going to do it just yet. Kong, give me a little lease on life. I believe that was um, due to her DI, DI down so that she doesn't get the fist hitbox. But this is going to be the time. And, ooh, there's the giant fist. And that is something that I believe is you have to be careful of as Diddy Kong. When that banana's on the ground and it's in your control, so it has that little red triangle on top of it. If Bayonetta stands next to it, she can witch um, time, and if you're close, you get caught. Oh. So oh. it's an active hitbox, and it does, in fact, trigger witch time, which then triggers on you. Oh, and that's whoa, and oh my god, there's another stock taken just like that. Exactly. You, you, could, you could see it in Fawn. You, you could see it in Fawn's face, like, ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah, and like that's exactly what I I'm don't talking blame about. Me. She has to be worried because her whole position off stage is so so much weak against Bayonetta than it normally would be. Diddy Kong, as we kind of said, can get edge guarded, but Bayonetta, one of the best in the game, can make it very, 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 very hard to get back to the stage. And you see, yeah, over and over again, Amarillo's going out for it. Well, hey, nice to smash though, right there. Hold up. It, it, it ain't over until it's over. Hey, Farm, Farm has some nice tricks up, up their sleeve. And Diddy Kong, if they kind of get it, the ball rolling can snowball pretty heavily. You get a few good reads, some good high percent damage combos. But what can Armour be able to do to just kind of close out the stock and not let anything oh. happen? 55% being racked up on them already by Farm. Yeah. Man. 80% almost unanswered. And Jab's not going to do it just yet, oh, but it's going to be close. Oh, it no. is gonna do it. I like it. <laughs> uh, and yeah, you saw Vaughn automatically hit the run it back. She does not like how that second stock went. Probably how that first stock went either. Or how that last stock went. So, going to go straight into another game. Just said, run it back. Let's play it again. This time, yeah, I'm gonna make the adaptions. I'm not gonna lose my stock at 30. <laughs> and let's go. And with the music counter oh, pick. Oh, wait. Some Zero Bay music, eh? Hey. Incoming. Ooh, okay, this this theme is really good. Uh, I have a confession. I haven't played a single Zero Blade full stop. I'm keeping it that way. We're seeing the Duck Hunt. We're seeing the Duck Hunt. Uh, Zero Blade is a nice game. But anyways. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, but Duck Hunt coming out a lot less acceptable off stage. A little bit same kind of trappy neutral that can kind of make Bayonetta's life hell if he's yeah. he done well. But we'll have to see what Fawn can get sold and what she can do to kind of justify this pick. And also, a little bit of a matchup check. There's no Duck Hunt on the East Coast. Very few in the world that do it like yeah. Fawn does. You have to have the Fawn magic card, not the Duck Hunt that matchup card. <laughs> but just getting it off to a pretty early lead here. But Ammo Willis is, <laughs> as you can see, they're already trying to bring this back and getting some pretty, pretty big percent. And Duck Hunt does. <laughs> Ooh, oh, nice use of the can to get out both cases and almost got that up air off too. Yeah, this match, uh, this character choice might be overall a bit better than uh, Diddy Kong. Because, like, hey, you, you do have some crazy zoning uh, with with pretty much uh, all your specials. That was a um, wild DI mix up because that got Emma Willis to be di in for the F smash and then died off the top to, I believe, the can. But it's a crazy setup. Another witch time in the up smash. Kind of the Emma Willis special, if you will. But as we saw in that first stock, Kant's frame one. If Kant's not on the ground and Bayonetta starts up for combo, that is that is the possibility of you dying way up there if your combo's not air tight. So didn't yeah, think about that going into this, but that is a big, big thing for Duck Hunt in this matchup. That can maybe a, a bit of a problem. Like you, you saw, uh, you may have seen it be a bit of a problem a bit er earlier on around the. Around the point where both, both these players had their first stock ready. Because it was just kind of me messing up uh, some of Bayonetta's combos, it seems. Exactly. They won't air tight. That thing comes up frame one, then explodes. Yep. Like, you know, like right there. 
And Fawn again getting a lot of percent here. But one thing I'm going to want to point out here, look at how Omo Willis is using these platforms here. They are kind of jumping out and then uh, ABKing to the platforms to reset in a situation where Duckhunt doesn't have the ability to kind of set up those extended big damage trap hits that Duckhunt can do when they have can out, when they have multiple hits. And yeah, platform, platform, platform. Ooh, wait. That was Looks such a delayed trigger pull on that play pigeon. Fantastic stuff though from Vaughn getting like that veil. And just in general, can she get a little bit of damage here? Yep, Cause... messed up the time with the witch time gets there, but nope. Yeah, and that is something that you have to be aware of. As Emma Willis, you might have you might think, oh, I have the timing of these uh gunmen down, but each gunman has a slightly different timing and a slightly different spacing jab's gonna kill. Oh, yep, that's yep. gonna be it. And only 36% extra credit. What can Vaughn do? And, but she's going uh, to try to get, see if she can get this going. But Amo Willis going to attempt to get a big damage combo going here. Oh, oh. but the can getting in the way yet again. Yeah, this, this character choice just seems like so much better than, than Diddy Kong. Yeah. This but, is her original main, not as strong of a character as Diddy Kong, but, you know, yeah. has some matchup in familiarity and some specific things in this yeah. matchup that, that, that Diddy Kong does not have access to. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that can, of course, being probably the most notable, at least in, th in this matchup, because, Jesus Christ, it seems to be getting fun out of a whole lot of uh, combos that Am Amaryllis is just throwing out uh, right, right at Fawn. Yeah, and I'm and, just going. It's trying to bring it back, but Fawn's kind of inching toward to getting this game. What up? But yeah, this 100 to 125, both the these characters can close. Ledge. Not going to get Actually. it just yet, but a bail will do that ledge for both of these characters to be fail. And honestly, a jab might even do it for Bayonetta, and another can might do it for Dark Hunt. What can Vaughn get started here, or what can Emeralds do to seal out this game? And then according to the set, you know. Oh, oh wait, so which time is up? Great air dodge there. Fun. Ah, but the, <laughs> the gunman. <laughs> I didn't even notice the, duck, the gunman went out. <laughs> I didn't even notice it. <laughs> Skeet shooting. Good God. But yeah, Fun going to the duck hunt, getting that game, but that was close. Yeah. <coughs> so, I mean, it, it was it was definitely mu a much better result uh, than, the f than the first game uh, for Fun. Yeah, no edge guarding there for yeah. with us, no early it, stocks. Yeah. It, that, that, that's that's another thing about, about uh, this character choice is like you, you can't really like get a, a edge guard as as easily. Yeah, you have it, especially Perhaps. when Duck Hunt doesn't have the uh can out there. When Duck Hunt doesn't have can on the stage, they can throw it out as they're recovering, and then Fawn is able to kinda of protect herself coming back. We're getting the battle elite four music heal from Bayonetta. Shout out Pokemon. Oh, somewhat. Oh <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> Well, like they, they this this someone uh, carry like Ed, Edge got uh, Duck Hunt like too too well. Like, yeah, like D Duck Hunt does move like kind of slow though when uh, when they're moving around with their upbeat and all that. So perhaps uh, Marlis uh, could t take advantage of that here and there. But hey, they they could cancel that upbeat into like any sort of attack if I'm mistaken. So yeah. Or just protect themselves with that wall of a can. They can't really come out. Or throw gunmen before they start the yeah, There's like, a lot of ways for them to kind of put pressure out in a way that protects them from getting hit when they're out there. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I believe you uh, mentioned that. Yeah. And just oh. going for these up -ails. Not going to get anything yet, but this is the biggest lead that I believe Fawn has had all set. So it's looking like PS2 is working perfectly fine for you. Oh, pff, the can coming in again. Again, Jesus Christ. Not a flame type combo, and you're going to jump. Oh, trying to catch that roll there, going to get a great usage of those intangibility flames. We can see that uh, Fauna's Blade is rising up to the uh, witch, witch time tier that Emerald is going out. That was a strange interaction. I, I, don't, I don't know, know why Fawn, like went all the way down there. I think she had a jump and a B. Like, um, what, what happened? Like. Did, we'll have to look back on the Did they the cancel? Like, might have gotten her, an air dodge and a buffle. Something might, must have happened, but none That was very geez, strange. Not letting you get two and got an 106% here on Amorillas. Yeah, perhaps it may not be too bad because, yeah, just, just look at the percentage lead right now. <laughs> yeah, 120, 120 to 20, 140, and using the can so, so well to protect herself from Amorillas. Oh, no. Hey, I don't know. 
Stop. This, this, ain't, this ain't like some Marley stock. Just yet. <laughs> yeah, this is looking so, so, so skilled. Okay. And look, notice that Emerald doesn't try to do any wheel um, extensions of that combo purely uh, because and of that. And coming in clutch yet again. Exactly. And and Emerald is trying to get back into this one, getting laddled up to yep, 46%. And, and getting all those up airs off again. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Not going to get anything yet, and now Fawn is waiting out everything. She's getting so, so much off of these attempted witch um, times from Bayonetta. Not going to be able to get anything. Yeah. And now having a lap, Emilis in full send. The, the counter pick looking like it's worked out for her. And yeah, look, she's just keeping that can on top of her. Uh, to try to overshoot with that grab. Okay, if you come out here and you're trying to hit me, I'm just going to hit can, and then we're going to reset your combo, my combo, you die. And not going to die to right. anything just yet. This is so scary, Bubble. Oh. Is that dash attack? It, I, wasn't so, I wasn't so sure oh, if that was dash attack before, too. So. Yeah. Um, no idea, it, but either way, either it's way, a move I've seen maybe three times with Duck Hunt. And I've commentated a lot of fun sets. <laughs> so. But hey, either way, dash nice attack. That's dash attack. Okay. <laughs> the, the, the face. Why does he look like that? I mean, eh, like, it, it, it's the dog no, known for, for making, like, the, that huge, like, smile just laughing at you. So, so, I, so I guess he has a, quite a bit of weird face. That was uncomfy. Maybe, I don't know. That was uncomfy. Why did he look like that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I believe that is it for yeah. our block here. All right. But, yo, nice stuff uh, to fawn, though. Uh, that, that character switch really helped out. Like, the, the can especially helped out like oh my god they, they managed to escape out of so many uh combos they, they managed to get uh, some combos of of, of uh, can themselves and dang that if without can like yeah. per perhaps th uh that set would have taken a very very different uh, turn yeah um, anyways but yeah i believe that's all for us Good. i've been co song and this has been rara it was nice having you guys and we'll be back in a second Good. take care Boop.